So this is going to be a short one. I'm just going to go ahead and make a few calls for you right here on Mojo. Um, I'll have to move my head around a little bit. So we just uploaded our pre-foreclosure list. We're going to go ahead and call this one here. So I selected all the records that have not been called yet, and I'm literally just going to hit power dialer, selected records. So because this is the first time calling around, I'm not going to drop a voice message, but I have my pre-recorded voice messages. Um, it's just a called expired callback, but that's the callback. I can't hear you. What was that? What was that? Oh, maybe let me reset my phone and call you back. Um, call hammer is going to call through the multiple numbers. Voicemail hammer. If I happen to hit drop a voicemail, it'll call to the next number. If you don't have that selected, it's going to say, hey, I dropped all this. I'm going to the next contact. Um, this one here, I can say, hey, I don't want to call anything. No, I specifically selected a list. I want to call that list. So now we're going to start the power dialer. And it's going to call 24 records because that's what I selected. So that's my new list for this week is 24 new contacts. So let me dial it up on my phone. And I have an AirPod in so I can hear better. So you are not actually going to hear any of the contacts pick up. <clears throat> Using your touch tone phone. Please enter your PIN number. Your PIN number can be found on the dial-in box. That's that 34 right here. It changes every time. Now it says you're logged into your Mojo dialer. Please press the start button to begin. And this will change to an arrow. There you go. Now I'm going to look at Todd, Alberta, and Richard because I want to pay attention to the names. Voicemail picked up. with my head all the way off the screen. I guess I have full screen, so here's my script. I got a couple of different ones. Richard, Todd, Albert. So I keep scanning these names to stay prepared for when they pick up. When that box turns green, it's because somebody picked up the phone. <clears throat> Anytime I want to pause the dialer, I can hit pause. That was Crime Stoppers. Bad. Yeah, I probably should take this off the AirPods and put it on speaker for you. So let me pause this as soon as that one's done. And I'll pause this. Rich. All right, so let me take my phone, take it off the AirPod, shift it over to speaker. Might work a little better if you can hear these guys picking up. All right. Richard, Albert. I've been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the top... Seeing that one because it was the last phone number, it was no contact next record. Lewis, Albert. You have reached the law office of Donald Felix. Okay, and that was a bad number, so we're just going to continue to the next phone number. Leave a message and I will get back to you just as soon as possible. Odds are that was a bad number because it said Todd. Okay, Lois. You have been seven five seven two three five. It was her voice message that picked up. Sometimes this picks up voice messages like it's real people. So going on to the next Lois, Ken, Todd. Thank you for calling. Please press one to connect your call. That's a switchboard number, so I marked those as bad. Telephone number eight. 
Well, I was hoping to get somebody on the phone before I end this recording. We'll go one more cycle. And I hit pause, so it's going to stop. And all these are free. All right. Well, that's it. I'm going to actually keep going on uh, on these numbers. But I don't like running uh, videos over five minutes or so. And we're already at um, just about six. So pretty much that's it. You just let it go. I prefer using my AirPods and keeping those going. So I'm there. And I didn't realize you could see my whole screen. But yeah, there's my script. Joe Grant, EXP. Good morning. Wait for them because we've been taught with manners. So if you use a level of authority when you're talking to them, too many homeowners are losing their home in equity to foreclosure. My neighbor was one of them. Because of this, as a realtor, I created free education for homeowners on 10 ways to avoid foreclosure. Six of them, you remain in your property. Four of them, you don't. Are you opening to learning what your options might be available to you? What are you currently doing to avoid this pending foreclosure at your address? So if they don't shut me down at the beginning or the second one, hey, are you open to learning more? Because I want to know if they're open-minded. Are they somebody who wants to try to solve their problem? Okay. And on those 10 things, hey, I'm going to list them out from, hey, this probably isn't going to work. This probably isn't going to work to your best option on retention is this one or this one. And then, hey, here's your selling options. And hey, you're going to get the most amount of money with the most amount of convenience or inconvenience to the least amount of money with the most amount of convenience. And for anybody um, doing the sales side of it, you already know the least amount of money with the most amount of convenience is I just bring you a cash offer for an investor. Um that's the easiest way. The most amount of money is we put that thing on the market and make the investors compete for it. But now you're going to have to have people coming into your house. So it's like, hey, you got creative solution ideas. You got cash offer ideas. You got on the MLS and you got short sales. So those are four ways to sell a property. Um, as for the retentions, those are all going to really depend on your state that you're in. So, hey, I'm Joe Grant, EXP Realty. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, comment below. Let me know what you think of these videos. Um, it, Mojo is a great tool. It's something that I use in my business um, four to five times a week. Um, I use it for agent attraction. I uh, recruiting agents. I use it for calling um, pre foreclosures. I use it for calling withdrawals. I use it for calling expires. And I will probably start using it for circle prospecting as well because I just upload folks into the spreadsheet, load them over into it. So it's a really versatile tool. I just wish it had a better affiliate link. That way I could share that link and actually earn some extra revenue doing that. Have a great day.